So Torchlight Infinite Open Beta Test starts uh, today at October 12th and it's officially global launch and I want to go over a few things players should actually know about Torchlight Infinite to help give you a bit of a decent understanding of the game after three closed betas. Now I have already covered a beginner's guide to Torchlight Infinite Closed Beta Test 3 which Closed Beta Test 3 was essentially a more of a final version of the of the what will be seen for today's open launch so this video is a bit of a more improved list for the open beta so starting with number one i have trading please 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 do not destroy all of your loot trading is a very powerful tool in the world of torchlight as you can share and distribute loot to other players for a price since Torchlight Infinite is a loot heavy game, you will come across a lot of gear that is either useless to you or is very powerful, but it wouldn't work for your build. So Torchlight offers many, many, many ways to handle this and I got two for you to start doing that, which will help you in your build in the long run. Uh, first one I got for you is exchanges. So exchanging your gear really helps you instead of outright destroying your gear, since you can obtain flame residue, which can convert to flame dust, which would then help your gear affixes. But affixes is something I'll explain in a later tip. And as well as please take advantage of the trade house. The trade house is basically a way to trade loot, whether it's legendary or any other type of rarity for the currency you need. And it will also help out other players looking for that loot that they normally wouldn't find by themselves without endless amounts of grinding. It's a great tool to use when you don't want to spend hours grinding for one piece of loot if you can buy it using in-game currency to acquire it. So let's talk about gear pretty much maximizing the most out of what you receive so torchlight infinite is a very loot heavy game and even in later parts of the campaign a lot of gear becomes kind of pointless but to maximize that said gear and make sure your survivability and damage output is high you should make sure to pay attention to the actual info on your gear gear in torchlight infinite is designed by three different categories which is the item level of fixed levels and energy by focusing on these three things can actually help enhance your gameplay with any character you choose item levels is located on the info tile of the weapon you choose which the item levels are determined by the level of the map you're located in pretty much scaling to your player character as you progress the main quest and such so then we also have the affix levels which is quite similar to item levels but instead of it being the level of the item it's the level or actual tier of the added benefit the item becomes with and with every 10th level you've gained another higher variation of that same affix or tier for that piece of gear and last but not least we have energy which is the final piece to the gear puzzle and is essentially a way to help unlock skill slots and your energy is the base gear stat that appears on items if the gear is high enough but by using these three parts of the gear system you can take advantage of maximizing the gear you obtain throughout your playthrough it can be refined using energy cores and talking to the arms dealer mod which you can fix the value of your energy so let's talk about the actual campaign and end game. So there are currently right now from what I have seen in playthrough, there are five chapters in the game. Three of the chapters following the Torchlight Infinite story pretty heavily and it does seem short but these chapters are dense <laughs> and you can spend at least 10 hours or more going through the Torchlight Infinite lore but then it will start to switch off once you get to chapter 4 and 5 as these are the beginnings of your Netherrealm invasions and even past that you will be doing Chaos Invasions. Pretty much the game's version of Endgame as you spend the rest of your time running through dungeons to get even better gear. And last but not least which I know people are probably the most excited for is the microtransactions and of course the new changes to the game. Microtransaction was the biggest controversy for Torchlight Infinite back when Closed Beta Test 3 was released and it still haunts the devs to this day. But what players can expect as the game is officially out now is some new changes to the way the quality of life works and as well as the paid content. The season pass itself comes with abundant rewards. The free rewards include revival tokens, elixirs of oblivion, jagged primo chris, and insight crystals. In addition to a larger quantity of these consumables, the paid rewards include outfit effects, weapon effects, body effects, back accessories, and many other rewards, as well as an extremely important functionality, which is advanced auto pick. 
So all the future new heroes, in other words, their first hero traits be direct, directly unlocked via purchasing the season pass, which the other hero traits like Gemma's Frostbitten Heart and Karino's Lethal Flash will be available for direct purchase. In addition, we will increase the avenues available to obtain hero traits for free, and other hero traits can also be unlocked by accumulating in-game currencies or accomplishing certain achievements like Iuga's second hero trait, Space Time Elapse. You also get the base free booth tab slots are increased. The price for each booth tab that contains 12 booth tab slots is also reduced. And as well as a purchase season pass will grant you a free booth tab at the beginning of your run. So after the long wait since the closed beta test 3 mishap with the microtransactions and how players felt lied to and the distrust between players and the devs, the team over at Torchlight hopes with these new changes to the game will fix a lot of things to make Torchlight better. The takeaway is Torchlight Infinite is still a fun addicting game full of loot and monsters and intriguing campaign as well. I know a lot of players already have left Torchlight after the controversy but to others who are still here please have fun. Enjoy your time in Torchlight. If you want to check out my entire Torchlight playlist and me covering the development from uh, almost a whole year now and all three closed betas of Torchlight, I highly suggest you to check out my playlist. And if you're wanting more content on Torchlight or any other RPG, then please sub to the channel to become part of the Outcast community. And make sure to like the video so other people who are interested in a brand new ARPG can find this video or on the fence about playing as well. It's been your host, KSD TV, here at Chaotic Inc. Signing out. Peace. Make a manifest. I don't sleep. That's so weak. Don't plan to rest. I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest. No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best. Chefing. Hard times taught lessons. Praying every night to pull up and park benzes. Uh, what's my home is what you call trenches. You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses. Uh, it's all tension, no sun, it rain a plenty, full-time job, still can never make a penny. I ain't